dropped to the floor. That stuck real quick. Oh, and it's gone. The scoop of pre. It's just gonna just yeah, I kind of have, have to tap it out, and the whole thing comes down as like a block. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Blob of fucking goop in there. <laughs> Now it will. That is my automatic shaker cup. Isn't this cool? Little shaker bottle action. Got this little motor on the bottom that's doing all the work for me. It's pretty fantastical, if I do so so myself. Uh, but yeah, let's uh have a little scoopy scoopy over this. Fucking put this on here. I'm just fucking. Join me on the bottle. Here we go. Mm -mm. <sighs> All righty. So I, I found a little afro for this guy. <laughs> it looks a little stupid, in my opinion, but. Yeah, it, it, it definitely adds to the whole thing of like, eh, it doesn't suck. So I'm not going to harp on it for too long. Um, it is definitely a nice thing to have, you know, riding up your fucking chest. But these workout has nothing to do with any of that. What am I doing? Uh, we're doing arms and delts because I, I got to build out my shoulders. And uh, I was going to do a pose down. I'm probably still going to do a pose down, but... I'm going to be there for quite a while. So hopefully by the time that it comes for time for me to pose down, I'll be in and out and just posing really quick. Not really thinking too much about it. I'm not going to sit in a locker room or anything like that. So recording in the locker room is illegal. Just because it's a public space does not mean you get to just fucking set your tripod up and pose down out in front of everybody. Some people don't want to see that. Some people are in there changing, getting naked, and don't want to see their private parts on your YouTube video. So, it's wobbling like crazy now because of the fucking little gibbet that I got here. Let me see if I can clip this on to something. Oh, oh, it clips on. Fuck yeah. All right. Never mind then. We're good. Problem. Crisis averted, ladies and gentlemen. Crisis averted. Um, yeah, I don't think... Uh, it's uh, the best idea to film in the locker room. Uh, my first video I did, but I got busted almost instantly. They're like, you're not filming in there, are you? And I had to lie to the guy and said, no, I wasn't. I was not filming. I, was re I really wasn't too sure. Um, but I really didn't want to bust myself for that. So I chose not to do that ever again. Like sometimes I just have the tripod out, but I wouldn't fucking film. That was the only time I did it, and I never was thinking of doing it again afterwards, because I wasn't getting any. I, I, I had such a pot belly, and I still do. I'm just, now that the cut is happening, I am now that the cut is actually cutting, um, I am no longer going to be at that heavy weight. I was 190 pounds dry in the morning. That was scary. When I woke up from like 188 the prior day, I was up two pounds, and then I stayed at 190 for a couple of weeks was not good for me. So I decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna cut down and I'm gonna shoot for some fucking crazy number. I'm gonna drop 35 pounds and maybe a little over half a year and be a comp weight and then fucking just stop and do it again another time, I guess. Like I'm gonna cut down slowly, but I'm still gonna build muscle and be strong and be fit. Because all of this right now is just conditioning. When you're on a cut, you're losing weight. You're gonna lose fat, you're gonna lose glycogen stores you're gonna lose muscle you're gonna lose a lot of shit this guy's trying to like kill me i don't know whatever fuck him uh we ain't we ain't we ain't, we ain't dying today no death no death necessary um i got a little buddy behind me if you didn't see him already it's, it's a little sloth just kind of fucking big chilling back there you can see him he's just nodding out but you know yeah I did not take my ADHD meds, so I kind of just forgot what I was talking about. 
arms and delts. I want to build some better delts. Uh, those are heavily neglected on like everything. So we're going to do a lot of uh, stuff today. Some standing overhead presses, uh, some bicep curls. I'm going to try and focus on like three, four exercises per muscle group. So we got the bicep, the tricep, the forearms, which I don't really need to hit that hard. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with delts first, burn those fuckers out, and then focus on the isometric uh, muscle groups, isometric uh, exercises just to isolate different muscle groups at that point. Um, yeah. That's just kind of how it's going to go. 6.30. It's still sunny out, which still fucking blows my mind to this day, I guess. You know, just how it is for some reason. Boink. Oh, the tree's right there, huh? I didn't fucking hit the tree, did I? Oh, no, I didn't. I was <laughs> just backing in casually looking at this thing to gauge where I'm at. And the fucking tree is right there. I'm like, I'm so thankful I didn't hit. The Let me, uh, I got to check. I got to check. We got to see if I hit this tree or not. Oh, I was so fucking clear of it. Oh, I was, no, nah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shitting myself on that little stroll back there. So we're just gonna back it up a little bit more and stop. That's it. That's as far back as we need to go. You saw how much I had to move. That's it. All right. So uh yeah, let's take another swig of that tree. I didn't bring it with me. Let's go back and get it. I need that pre-workout. And it gives me more time for it to kick in, to be honest with you. Let me go get my pre-workout. I kind of forgot about that. Oops. Uh gotta go get that now. Wah, wah. All right, cool. Considering my dad's at church right now, he shouldn't be back for another 15, 20 minutes, so maybe I get in without much uh, dad action because he doesn't like being filmed. He doesn't give a fuck. He, like, he'll take a picture with me because he takes pictures of anything, really. Um, he even takes pictures of me asleep in my car. I'm just like, goal. Uh, when I saw that. Uh, he asked for help trying to transfer his photos from one phone to another. And I was like, here, let me see what I can do. He's like, I'm just trying to fucking get it to work. And I saw a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff that I will never forget now. I can't unsee what I saw in that phone. Keep in mind, he's a fucking... He's dude. He's a man. I, I have never looked in another man's phone. Ever. Uh, but curiosity struck the autistic fuck in me. And I uh, took a look, just a little little sneak peek. Now, sometimes he takes photos. Most days he doesn't. But when he takes photos, it's a, a lot of things. I'm not saying, you know, illegal shit. God, fuck no. He's, he's pretty straight line. He goes to church, for God's sakes. He's a pretty straight line guy. I don't think he's going to fucking do some illegal shit and take a picture of some dude's head getting blown off or something like that. No. That, that's not, that's, no, he's, he's good there. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. We wouldn't want, wouldn't want, uh, some fucking, fucking flashbacks. Uh, so, uh, with that, uh, I've seen some, some things that I will never unsee in my dad's phone. Uh, never going to see that shit again. <laughs> 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 Shit. Huh. Oh, man. Oh, someone's on the spare. Womp, womp. They were out mudding. You can see the dirt on their car. Like, it's just caked in it. It's, it's typically a Subaru, but, you know, it's like the one person ever to ever take their Subaru out back, off-road, out back, you know? So... You know, it is what it is. Oh, my car is on. Heater is on. All right. Cool. You know, so that's fun. That's a fun time, you know. Having a fun old time, eh? Shit. Clouds are nice and developed. 
it was supposed to rain today, but it just didn't. It's just been like gloomy all day, you know? The gloomy has happened and it is still happening, but there's no rain as a result of it. It's just a lot of humidity. 88% fucking humidity. It's humid as fuck today. 88%. I was sweating in the shower. It was bad. It was fucking sticky. It's like Florida sticky. I've never been to Florida. So how the fuck would I know if it's sticky over there? I just assume because everyone kind of looks like rubber. Looks like, you know, the synthetic rubber that's super shiny. Ugh. Not natural rubber. Rubber, Like a rubber tree. Well, fuck that. Uh, No, we're talking like rubber. Like fucking crazy. Like like shiny rubber. Why am I talking about rubber? (laughs) Rubber has something to do with it being sticky, I guess, you know? Ooh. What is that? An i5. That's a cool looking car. The BMW i5. It's like a lifted 5 series of sorts, but it's electric. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Huh. All right. So uh, let me uh, go get my. Ooh, let me go get my uh, item here. My pre-workout I left in my room. I know exactly where it is, too. And uh, let's go get it. I'll be right back. I should not be long. I'm going to keep the mic on and see if I can keep using it. All righty. Walking up to my door now. Walking up to the gate to go into my house and grab it. All righty. All righty. Okay. Walking up to my front door now. Grab the house key because I locked the door. The lock picking lawyer. We're going to be breaking into a house to take his profile. Click out of one, click out of two. Some binding on three. Click. We've got some. Nothing on four, nothing on five. And we are in. Now, this lock proved to be very, very easy to penetrate with no lubrication necessary. (laughs) And we are in. And we are in. (laughs) All right. Enough dilly dallying around. Fuck out of here. Holy brother. We got, the, we got the juice. The juice. The juice is much, much desired. So, so very desired. Nice and windy. Yeah, it smells like lawn clippings because, uh, you know, uh, lawn was mowed this morning. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels good, man. Crafted by award-winning chefs, Cook Unity. Help us reduce, help us reach our zero waste goal. This insulated bag can keep meals chilled for up to eight hours. Please return this bag and the ice packs with their future deliveries. Want to learn more about our returnable packaging program? Scan the QR code on the top of your bag. Cook Unity is cool. I, I went from factor to Cook Unity recently. And I still use all the Boston Market meals that you can find at the store. Because in reality, the the ingredients, yeah, they are fresher on Cook Unity subscription. You do get some fatter portions with your meals. But honestly, it is, it's a little overhyped, to be honest with you. I, I, I personally don't see a gain in it per se. <laughs> This person was looking at me outside like a crazy person. I was like, what the fuck? Why is he talking to himself? He's just like so casual about it too. Just because there's a fucking camera and I'm recording. So that that out of the way. (laughs) 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 Okay, let's rock and roll. Let's get the fuck on.
Uh, no pre-workout meal. Not today. We're cutting because I fucking ate like a fucking machine yesterday. I had a whole big old bowl of pho with my dad. I took him to try pho for the first time. I took him to my favorite place where I tried pho for the first time. It's called Pho Cal Cali. Shout out to Pho Cal Cali Express. Located in Miro Mesa in California. San Diego, obviously. Over by Miramar. I have see Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. Not bad. Pretty cool place. Just saying. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Did I ever unlock my watch? I did, huh? Huh. I did. Cool. All right. 100%. You can't see it, can you? No, you really can't. I'm sorry. You're never going to see it, ever. Um, typically, I rock music at the gym. You know, just because I don't want people talking to me. Or I'm just like, I'm more, I just want to show off my uh, my $78 headphones from Sony. Which which retail for like $250, $300. I got them for $79.99 on fucking Amazon. <laughs> Because they were the factory refurbished ones. They fucking work great. They're like brand new. Came out of the box with charging cable. You know. Books and shit. Warranty card. I was like damn. Fucking refurbished items from Sony get warranties. W Sony. Right? But then they make the PlayStation. <laughs> they make the PlayStation all swoopy and shit. I'm like that does not go with anything. I want to like take this PlayStation 5 and like modify it to a point where it's like. Doesn't have fucking need in the world to be honest with you doesn't have like uh, any needs or desires just like fucking make it completely boring that's my goal if i were to ever get a, my hands on a ps5 i would mod it so it would look absolutely like contemporary flat boring just fucking just like a, like a household appliance level of boring square off Make it look like an Xbox as much as possible. Maybe even put the Xbox logo in Blaze, stamp it in. You know, stamp the Xbox logo on a PlayStation 5. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, my Xbox is broken. It only plays PlayStation 5 games. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's got a PlayStation 5 firmware on it, you know? Uh, I, I I do appreciate my uh, my... Uh, my console gaming days says those are dead as I now have a computer and I can play Orgasm Simulator 2024 on it. Fucking Goon and Edge all over the place. You know, Goon and Edge for a whole 49 minutes and then fucking not after the sixth orgasm scene. Just some, probably a dude going, uh, uh, wah, wah, uh, uh, What am I talking about? I'm going to get age restricted, dude. Shit, I need to chill out with that. <laughs> I should probably put this shit on my OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, I'm not even kidding either. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm actually kidding. Don't don't take me seriously there. Just kidding. Not real. I'm just joking. Hi, YouTube admin person. I'm just fucking kidding. <laughs> just fucking kidding. Just fucking kidding. That's all. All right. The gym is emptier. The fucking parking lot is emptier now. Oh, the Ford Maverick's still there. I'm going to park next to it again. Back into the fucking tree again. <laughs> I I do like the Ford Maverick. The Ford Maverick is very pretty. The Ford Mustang, the outgoing model, I like it. I'm going to miss it. The new one is too boxy, weird looking. But the new Maverick, fuck, I like the way that Maverick looks. I'll park right next to it again. It's got like this fucking like lunar gray color. Fucking... It's not the right color for the truck. I like a white one, or a black one, or a blue one. But the yellow and the fucking like lunar rock, whatever the fucking is, whatever the fuck it is, it kind of mimics the color from the uh, lunar mist metal. It kind of mimics lunar mist. Metal. Might have gone too close with that one. Oh, no, I'm fucking clear by a mile. It just looks, it just sounds weird because I ran over a can. That's what it was. It was a fucking, like, bottle can thing. I just crushed it with my tire. Oh, well. Well, I got that. Got my pre-workout now. Let's take a couple more swigs and then I go in there and fucking kill it. Feel the beta alanine kicking in. It's fucking pre-workout. It's like fucking two years old.
to all my pipe fitters out there in the world, my pre-workout experience is like scraping Vulcum off your shoe. When you accidentally get a little bit on your boot and you're trying to scrape that shit off, fuck, it's bad. Vulcum. I will only use it to protect the fucking shit-ass dog houses that I screw into the, into the TPO, but anything after that, it's, it's fucking lost cause. Fuck, get it on my boots, it's never coming off. It's like concrete. She's like, you step in concrete, it's over. Jover, gone. Fucking rip those boots. I'm kidding. I've, I've had two pairs of boots fucking step in concrete day after day, day by day. And they they look older now. That's about it. All right, it's 641. I got to go fucking work out. Okay, so I haven't used this mic yet. I don't even know if it's on, but it probably is. I mean, it probably plugs in. It probably works, but, you know. You never know with these things. It can always be wrong. But I've already done one set on this just to warm myself up. So I'm going to do like maybe eight, eight, ten. Then the last set will go to failure. Not, I'm not Sam yet. I got to I gotta hop on gear to do that first, but it would be a gearhead to do that, but I'm not yet. Just a guy with a phone and a lav mic. All right, let's, let's get this shit. I'm only going to where the real range of move, the real benefit of hypertrophy is. I'm not going all the way up because that sucks. It fucks up with your rotator cuff muscles and ligaments and stuff, and it's just not good for you. So just. Do it to where, up to about parallel, a little bit past that's fine, but too far is just not good for you. Fucking whey protein farts, dude. Oh man, brutal. Oh man. Not having a good day with these whey protein stuff, dude. I'm gonna stop doing those oats overnight. They got they got whey in them, but I think the whole thing's just whey protein <laughs> with some flavors. Fucking caramel apple makes me fart the most, I guess. Never ordering that flavor again. Green apple, anything with apple in it, just shouldn't be in oats overnight. It's not a good flavor. It it was you it. You could taste it, but it just wasn't a flavor to eat in the morning. Not a thing of mine. I let it soak for like six hours, and it was just kind of turned me off of using it. Cookies and cream, though, tastes like fucking ice cream. Loved it. Oh, my delts are screaming, baby. Yeesh. Uh, that was not good. That was painful. That sucked. That sucked. That sucked. All right, I'm going to take a couple minutes to rest and then go to the next shoulder exercise. Okay, so. Oh, my shit. No, it's not. There. there it goes. All right. All right, so. Oh really focus on my shoulders that much but these uh raises i'm gonna do should hopefully be good for me
Okay. I switched to the little hand here. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. Adjusted it for a straight bar. And uh, do regular bicep curls and then reverse curls on top of it. Just like this. All right, let me uh, split this stack. Let's do, let's just do 90 pounds on the first set. And we'll do the work instead of like 110 or something like that. Eight to 12, or to failure, each set. and then we'll super set it with these reverse curls. Nope, I gotta cut these weights here. Just a little bit. program here. <laughs> Alright. 120 on the on the plate on the stack till failure. Ah. 
Things will surely start showing up around push down time. Okay, so these things change a little bit. All right, tricep push downs with the straight bar are a staple in my workouts as a recent. Good on my forearms as well as good on. Oh, my triceps. I'm trying to bend down so I get a further range of movement. So when I'm hitting them, they feel really good. are kind of there today not quite not quite as pumped yet but creatine will fucking do its thing more set. I'll try and ego lift it. You just go to failure. See these fucking forearm veins pop through. Okay, this is happy. All right, that's good. Incline dumbbell curl. I haven't done this in a while, so it's probably gonna hurt a lot, but yeah, here we go. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that hurts a lot. Not one I'd want to, but oh, God, damn. 
That is pain. Pain if I ain't ever seen it before. Fuck it there. Total failure. failure indeed. Yikes. All right. Shoulder press. On a seated air, on a seated position. Should be good for my shoulders, obviously. But here we go. My shoulders are done, dog. Ooh. Yeah. I'm done working these out. So, uh, let me go pose down and get my cardio done. That'd be it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Hail to the freaking yeah. All right. Pose down. Today, Jesus. Said I worked around or something.
Very cool, very cool. So that should be the end of the program for today. This cut is definitely cutting. Just to think I'm down 10 pounds already is pretty good. Just 25 more to go and I'll be a comp weight. Pretty crazy thing to think about. But yeah, let's get back in the car and go find something to eat. Alrighty, so that was uh, quite the workout. I mean, most things are, but you know, it is what it is. It's just uh, another day and living my life like Larry. Fucking ripping the ass still. Oh, God, Jesus. Let's go get some food, dude. I'm fucking hungry. Aw. Aw. <laughs> There's a couple having fun in their car right in front of me as I'm driving away. Oh, Jesus. That's a fucking kickback, eh? You just, uh... Fucking just put you right there. Stop falling off, damn it. There we go. Cool. Right on. Let's get let's get going. Let this Chevy pass. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let him pass. It's no big deal. I'm in no rush. It's Saturday. I don't go back to work till Monday. It's all good. Thank you. Any sauces? Uh, honey mustard, please. Thank you so much. Have you too, thanks. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, bag secured. Let's uh, take a look at this meal real quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that dead ass empty ah uh, drive through ah uh, thing. The empty ah uh, fucking. Empty ah. Uh... Empty ah. Uh, Boston Market. Completely empty and dead. <laughs> ah, man, my wrist hurts. All right. Let's get the. Let's get that main course entree out of here. Get that fucking get the fries out of the way. I don't care about them. I'll let them. I'll eat them cold like a savage. Total, complete, and utter unborn savage. Let me roll up my window for this one. Alrighty. Fucking won't believe the fucking macros on this one. A wise man once said, "If you want to get big, you got to get big." So, if you want to get huge, get big first. So. Bon Appetito. Mmm. That shit's fucking trash, dog. Get the fuck out. No, I'm kidding. That's good. That's good. Wanted to make sure it was good before I drove away. COVID hit the Boston market pretty hard. Yeah, you know what? That wasn't bad. 
That was a pretty good, pretty good little jazz piece right there. Speaking of jazz, I started making jazz music again. I bought a bunch of fucking tools and synthesizers on the internet. And uh, I have my little MIDI keyboard at home. And I'm, like, actually, like, making jazz music. Like, playing a, a, a saxophone with eight keys or ten keys or twelve keys or whatever the fuck it was. Um... And use them as like the different little valves on the uh, trump on the uh, uh, sax. Fucking, it was awesome. So good, such a good fucking. It was such a good fucking deal. It's so cool, so much fun. That little thing, man. Oh man. Oh man. I really like that. It's fun as hell. But I've made two already. Um, I had a big band synthesizer, which kind of simulates like the swing jazz type things. I add some, you know, noise, some dis- some uh, some compression to it, you know, make it sound a little older. So, you know, kind of blend it with the older jazz movements of 60s and 70s era swing music. Uh, I want to do some like Louisiana blues one day, but... I got to get the vocals and use the voice changers appropriately because I made myself sound like Billie Holiday and I almost cried because her birthday just ha- just passed recently and uh, I'm a big fan of her music. Uh, she was the reason why I started making jazz music. Uh, I was like, I like I understand at that... At the, oh, God, Jesus Christ, you're fucking falling over all the time. Jesus Louise. Jesus Louise, man, come on. Come on now. Come on now. All right. I wanted to just uh, start making music because, uh, like, it was right as I was listening to I'll Be Seeing You by Billie Holiday that I was like, you know what? I'm going to make some music. My first album was pretty shite. First album, in my opinion, was pretty shit. Second album wasn't so bad. Uh... This one is going to be the third jazz album I've ever released. And it's going to have the most music I've ever put in an album. I'm going to do like 16, 17, maybe 18 songs. Um, anywhere from like three and a half to four minutes long. Jesus Christ, you're falling over. We're on a hill. Where it's like a hill climb or some shit. Wee, buddy. All right. Stay right there. All right. The acceleration is ever so limit- limited now. We're going up an even steeper grade now. So, you know, it is definitely rough. It is definitely sad. It, well, it's going to be good music, but, like, it's sad that Billie Holiday's birthday passed because she was the reason why I got in the music. I literally just, like, fired up a playlist of, like, most of her songs and just sat there with my noise-canceling headphones on crying. Uh, crying in the drive through at a McDonald's. I feel sorry to the worker that heard me cry and whimper on the other end. She asked if I was okay. I was just like, yeah, I'm all right. Just fucking Billie Holiday, you know? She's like, oh, I love her music. I was like, and that was it. That was the conversation. I grabbed my Big Mac meal and went home. What the fuck is wrong with me? I remember such weird interactions with people. And then, like, tomorrow, I won't remember it. It'll be gone. But then, like, three months from now, I'll be like, oh, I remember that. You know? So weird. My brain works so weirdly. For the longest time, I thought it was a really bad thing that I was able to recall those things. But then my therapist was like, that's actually, like, a superpower. To be able to recall information to, with that much detail, it could be very useful in things that you do. I was like, nah, pipe fitting, go burr. I like it more. I like pipe fitting more. I don't like. I, I don't really interact with people that much, other than the people that I work with, which I get to know very well. And you know, we do a it's like a very simple monkey do, monkey do, monkey do for eight hours, and then we talk shit and go home. That's it. You know, it's really easy to communicate with people there it's it's that's why I do it I do it not because it's you know I don't I don't do it because it's like (sighs) relatively easy even though it is easy for the most part it's demanding but the people you work with is what makes it all better 
because it's kind of like a Modern Warfare 2 trash talking lobby all day long. But you get work done and that's it. You collect a paycheck, go home. I'm collecting 800 bucks a week post tax. Take home 800 bucks a week. It's a lot of fucking money for a 24 year old. Pretty good. Pretty good money. And I just work eight hours a day. I work from 5 a.m. to 1.30 every day, Monday through Friday. I get weekends off. Who the fuck says you can't do that? You know? Fucking awesome. But that's why I like it so much. That's why I like doing that. I, I just love it. I just love that type of work for my for myself. It's good. It's physically demanding, so I can still go. I can still get a fucking hefty workout at the gym. You know, stooped over, crunched. You know, working with my core, engaged. You know, all that stuff, all engaged all the time. It's gonna build some fucking muscle, and me, and it's gonna be long endurance type muscle. So those fibers will be fucking huge. The individual fibers will get bigger, and I will have bigger, fatter, more full-looking muscles, especially with the supplements that I take already. I stopped taking turkesterone because, yeah, it has some great recovery effects, but it fucks up my sleep and makes me super angry at people. So I, I decided to just wean off of that and just, I stopped taking it. I, like, cycled off of it. It was fucking it sucked the first three days without it and then after that it was just easy I don't think I'm ever going to take those supplements again I mean the harder than last time stops don't get me wrong I take the creatine I take the pre I think sometimes I take the pre-workout you know like the the non-stim one and uh, I had their vanilla uh, pr- protein powder fucking phenomenal stuff shout out greg to set for that use code greg for 10 for 15 percent off 10 or 15 percent off something like that um his anabolic cookbook 3.1 really good book i make some good food there it's really good i love it i love that stuff it's phenomenal absolutely phenomenal but uh yeah i mean the the turk builder is just not my thing it really fucked me up pretty good. It fucked me up real good, and I just did not enjoy it. It was not a very fun thing to be on. <laughs> it, I liked how it made me feel in the gym, but it did not feel good any other where anywhere else. It sucked. It was it was honestly shit. But you know, I just take the supplements I need. I take my vitamins. I take my. Uh, I eat a full. I eat a full meal. I eat. I fill out all parts of the, uh, all parts of my plate. I get all my essential amino acids, my branch chain amino acids, all my aminos, all my acids. I do acid. Uh, no. I just take time. I just, I just, I, I try and eat regular food. I try and eat whole good foods, you know, foods that don't suck, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just good for me. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is for me. It's just good, cheap, affordable food. You make it yourself. You spend a little bit of time cooking it. You're going to have a good meal. You do what I do on a cut, you die. That's it. I'm just going to die at like 40 because I took turkesterone. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't shoot me, Greg. Don't make a 15-minute long video saying, Turkestron's good for you. Fuck this guy, you know? <laughs> He's not like that. He's not like that. I met him once. I never took a photo. I never take photos with a lot of the people that I meet. Like, unless it's like a meet and greet where, like, the whole intention of that, of being there is to take photos with people. Like, I took picture. I took a picture with Lean Beef Patty. But, like, that was it. That was all she fucking wrote, dog. Oh, shit. You know what? That's it for that. Right there. All righty. That will do the trick there. Wee. All righty. And that will do it for today's video.
yeah, just uh, take care of yourself. Don't don't take the shit that people give you on the internet, except for creatine, pre-workout. Make sure it kicks in, and work work out hard. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. But everyone works at their own paces, so everyone grows differently and at different rates. So I can't really force you to do anything there. So yeah.